a woman has to find you attractive and interesting to get this far. <laughs> Sit shut the fuck up. This guy doesn't know shit. Because, gentlemen, I guarantee you, if you walk up to a strange woman that is attractive and she's desired by men and you walk up and say, hey, uh, I just wanted to give you a compliment real quick. I didn't say I wanted to give you a compliment real quick. I said I wanted to meet you real quick. Huge difference. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm gonna be responding to the old bald guy named Better Bachelor, okay, who obviously doesn't know jack shit about getting hot girls, as is evident from how he carries himself and just by taking a quick look on his channel, okay, the guy's fully clueless. It's another little like armchair philosopher, uh, oh, I think uh, getting girls is like this, basically another Rolo Tomasi. What he's commenting on, we just started like posting like TikTok clips on Twitter, right? I never really built up a Twitter following. I don't use Twitter personally. So I just started posting to the company Twitter and one of the videos popped off and got 332,000 views in just seven days, which is like more views than any YouTube video has ever gotten. I'm shadow banned and demonetized on YouTube. They extremely restrict my views on YouTube, which is really quite annoying. But on TikTok, we have like multiple that have gone over a million and we have like over 40 million views on TikTok. Okay, YouTube only has 17 million. But anyways, this video here, which he's gonna show, I haven't watched this, this clip from the guy. I know what clip that we posted, but it's showing how you can give a girl a sexual compliment without being creepy. And like all the people in the comments are all like, oh my God, this is super creepy, blah, 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 blah. And people are like, are you gonna respond to Better Bachelor? And I was like, what, what are you guys talking about and apparently he says that like he's doubtful that that what i said works because he knows okay you just look at him he knows he knows how to get hot girls so i i might as well retire here <laughs> hang up the hat and he's saying oh i doubt he's slept with that many girls good thing i have endless fucking proof of that claim but let's go in and hear what he has to say about my clip um this is from uh, john anthony lifestyle I wanted to call this out because this is the kind of stuff that I think is a losing proposition. Now watch this. Watch what I'm going to do here in the video. I say, nice to meet you. Now this is in a club setting after you have already built some rapport and flirtation and have sexualized the verbals and been physical. There's a whole bunch of prerequisite things. You're not just doing this out of the blue with a stranger, especially not during the daytime. Okay, but look, I turned the girl here. Content creators today. I and I say, I like the outfit you have. And I say, oh, it actually looks nice on you. And you're sexually flirting, commenting about her body, which is totally normal. And I've done it tons of times. And it's very successful in a nightclub setting. People see this out of context and they're like, oh my God, oh my God. Personally have nothing against John Anthony lifestyle. I don't know who he is. He's, I guess, a dating. He's, I guess, a dating coach. Uh, I don't know who he is. Well, now you know, Mr. Bachelor. <laughs> Look what it says in the fucking thing here. We got. I told my team to update this to 1,800 women. Okay, the current count is 1,823. 1,824 to be is in route in an Uber. Number one dating coach with 20 plus years experience. Uh, this is my team that wrote this. Proof to have slept. <laughs> Some bad English there. We're gonna have to fix that as well. It's over 1,800 now. Oh, I don't know who this is. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, good thing I have endless... <laughs> Again, I probably sound obnoxious right now. I have several hundred pictures with hot girls and hookup situations. I have over a thousand hours of infield. I have over a hundred infield polls on camera from start to finish. A bunch, which I give for free, unedited on my YouTube channel. Okay, we have over 1,250 testimonials on a page. I'm dominating the industry in terms of results for myself and my clients. And I have endless proof for it. You don't need to take my word for it. Endless, endless, endless proof for it. And by the way, before we get into the rest of this, we are running a free giveaway. We're gonna be giving away my eight week mentorship for free to one person, a three day live bootcamp for free. And there's a bunch of other prizes. You can go to the link in the description or pinned comment and enter your name and your email to be eligible for the drawing that's gonna happen on June 27th. Coach, he might be here on YouTube. Um, he has- He can't even go to a quick search. Uh, he might have a YouTube channel. Uh, we don't know, that's, uh, that's, that's an undetermined thing here. <laughs> he says he's the number one dating coach with 20 years of experience. Proof, he has proof that he, that he has slept with over 1,700 women in 30 plus countries, wow. I'm sure Better Bachelor has even hit 10 lay count yet, but he's got me beat on the amount of experience he has in the field. I'm guessing at least 50 to 60 years. <laughs> that makes him a credible source. 
Uh, and he says, get my- Let's go mock proof you haven't seen because you're a fucking large boy behind a fucking microphone. A dating system <laughs> with the link below. And he has 210 followers. And he follows nobody. That's because we weren't posting on Twitter. The Twitter account was inactive. See, when you're not shadow banned, 332,000 views. Okay, over a quarter of a million views in seven days with barely any following on Twitter. We can fucking nail the trending topic on YouTube, nail the thumbnail, nail the content, nail everything. And it's lucky if it breaks 10K because it's shadow banned and fucking demonetized. Even the interview with Andrew Tate only has like 200,000. Now this video gets, and that's like two years old, this video gets 330,000 in a week, right? And there's shit loads of engagement in the comments. That's funny. Uh, you don't get far in life if you don't follow other people. So he's got a whopping 240. Because we don't use Twitter. That's the explanation. There. Oh, you don't get very far in life if you don't follow people on X. Yeah, but it's because we weren't using it. He says how to give uh, a woman a sexual compliment without being creepy. Hashtag dating advice and all these things. I want you to listen to this guy's uh, stick here, and then you'll see how everybody responded to him. Yeah, because all the people in the comments, they know way better than a guy that's talked to tens of thousands of girls, has 21,000 phone numbers, has slept with 1,823. All these random people in the comments, especially the females, they know way better than me. Okay, and so does this old man behind the microphone here. Uh, spoiler alert, it did not go well. How to give a girl a sexual compliment without being creepy. Now keep in mind, you're at a nightclub. You're speaking to this girl. People are being physical. You're making sexual flirtations with her. People are drinking, et cetera, et cetera. It's okay to compliment her body. Okay, I've done that with most of the girls that I've pulled from nightclubs. I've pulled hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of girls from nightclubs. The peanut gallery, including Mr. Better Bachelor here, who doesn't know the first thing about banging hot girls and never will. <laughs> he says, well, this didn't go too well for him because the people in the comments don't agree. So what's up? I wanted to meet you real quick. Hi, what's up? Smew. So first he walks up and he says, oh, hey, nice to meet you. I wanted to give you a compliment real quick. A woman has to find you attractive and interesting to get this far. <laughs> okay, now he's going to break down cold approach. Where's your fucking infield, you fucking loser? And that, <laughs> I hope he watches this too. Oh, guys, uh, first of all, let me educate everybody here. A woman had to sit shut the fuck up. This guy doesn't know shit. Because, gentlemen, I guarantee you, if you walk up to a strange woman that is attractive and she's desired by men, and you walk up and say, hey, uh, I just wanted to give you a compliment real quick. I didn't say I wanted to give you a compliment real quick. I said I wanted to meet you real quick. Huge difference. Hey, I wanted to meet you real quick, but you could give a compliment too. Either way, that's been my go-to opener for over 10 years, and that's what all my clients use as well, okay, and my close friends. Can I meet you really fast? Can I meet you real quick? Okay. Can I meet you really fast? Can I meet you real quick? Sorry, what are you saying? I'm Josh, what's your name? Hi. Can I meet you really quick? I'm, I just want to meet you with us. I like how tall you are. It's very direct. Hey, I wanted to meet you real quick. What's your name? And the real quick makes it non-threatening and it's like just going to be a quick thing. Okay, so it's not like a big ask. He will tell you to fuck off. She will say, get the fuck away from me. He knows, okay? Not the guy that's done tens of thousands of approaches and used this opener the vast majority of the time. He knows. Okay, even Todd V came, <laughs> came along and made a video that I, we'll pop up the thumbnail. And he's like, I'm going to reveal the best opener ever that I've discovered after blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you just say you want to meet them real quick. It's like, shut up, Todd. Like direct rip off off my shit. <laughs> but Better Bachelor says that won't work and she'll tell you to fuck off. No girl wants you to come up to them and say, I wanted to meet you real fast. That's very threatening and they're going to tell you to fuck off. Again, this guy's talking out of his ass. What cold approach experience does he have? Where's his infield? What is it? He's living in like a lake home here. What is this? Isolated from society? That is the end. <laughs> That's just as far as it goes. I have countless infields to the contrary and tens of thousands of approaches to the contrary. Again, data wins, real proof wins, talk is cheap. Okay, this is the internet in 2024. Any stupid fuck, including this stupid fuck, can go behind a camera and be like, oh, uh, if you ask a girl to meet her, she's going to tell you to fuck off and it won't go anywhere. No, that's patently false, and I have endless data to the country. Oh, I like this outfit you have. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Wow. Damn. So he takes her by the hand, again, for those of you just listening, he takes her by the hand and spins her around. 
I didn't realize you were so sexy. My name's John. And then he puts his hand on her hip and pulls her in close. Again, this is done in a nightclub, not during the daytime. And girls are very receptive to that. Again, I have to keep referencing coming from a guy that's talked to tens of thousands of strangers in cold approach situations to an outsider that knows nothing. That's just a little YouTube groupie in the space. Okay, today we're going to look at this and that and this. And I'm going to tell you guys about cold approach. What's this guy's lay count? Where's his infield? Non-existent. Okay, and I would guess he, <laughs> by the way he talks talks about gaming, carries himself. Single digit lay count, but definitely, definitely, definitely not triple digit. His cohort, Rolo Tomasi, who's also an old man theorizing from, from a chair, <laughs> inaccurately, mind you, admitted to a staggering lay count of 40 in his shitty book, The Rational Male. Now, guys, spoiler alert. If you see a woman that is attractive and you walk up to her and you, and you say, I want to give you a, a compliment real quick, I want to meet you real quick. He needs to get his fucking hearing checked as well, because that's obviously going too. And he should fucking hit the gym too to get rid of the all the gyno he has going on there in his chest. You go to shake her hand. <laughs> there is a 99.999% chance she will not touch you, and she will tell you to fuck off. <laughs> This guy just showed he knows absolutely nothing about cold approach at all. He knows zero. He's positing. Keep in mind, this is an extremely successful opener. It's my go-to opener for over 10 years that I've used on tens of thousands of girls that thousands of clients have used extremely successfully as well. There's nothing fancy about it. You're telling a girl, hey, I wanted to meet you real quick. What's your name? And shake your hand. Can I meet you real quick? Okay. It goes over very successfully most of the time, unless they have a boyfriend, unless they're in a bad mood, unless they're having a really bad day or they're super, super busy in the conversation with their friends at the club. Otherwise, they usually smile and say, hi, I'm so-and-so. All you're doing is walking up and introducing yourself. But according to some old man with zero credentials and zero expertise, 99.99999% of the time it will fail. <laughs> Based on nothing based on zero data, based on zero experience, based on zero credentials, but he makes YouTube videos behind a camera, so he knows. But if you do get that far, and then you try to spin her around, she's gonna look at you like, what are you doing? Again, false. The guy's speaking out of his ass. It's readily apparent he knows jack shit about dating. And why would he? He's just an old man sitting there theorizing. Okay, this is the problem with little theory junkies like Better Bachelor and Rolo Tomasi. They're like, well, uh, it seems to be blah, 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 blah. They'll just like go and make claims about stuff they know nothing about and have no data on that I have endless data on proving that it's amazing. I, I should have my editor, I might even do this, have my editor just make a, a opening compilation. Hey, I want to meet you real quick. Receptive, 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 receptive. We could show hundreds of examples of it on film. <laughs> Can I meet you really fast? I just like how tall you are. Can I meet you really fast? Sorry? I just want to meet you really fast. What's him? Can I meet you real quick? What's him? Can I meet you real quick? Sorry, what are you saying? I'm Josh, what's your name? Hi. Hi, can I meet you really quick? Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's okay. I just want to... Hi. I like to like how fucking bright your eyes are. I just want to say hi. Can I meet you because you're super tall? What? I want to meet you because you're like my same height. What's your name? Can I meet you really quick? I, I just want to meet you with us. I like how tall you are. Yeah, hi. 99.99999%. She's going to run for the hills. Again, no credentials, no expertise. And, and I have to come and defend myself to people like this. Who is this guy? Again, if you had some person that was like, oh, I'm an expert on basketball and had no basketball experience. Oh, I'm an expert on uh, fighting, had no fighting experience and never been in a fight. What good is their advice? What good is their critique? Does it matter that he has more YouTube subscribers or views? Not at all. It makes no difference whatsoever to the validity of the concepts being discussed. Hey, nor does it matter what any of the fucking retards in the comments think at all. <laughs> He's showing it when it only has 262k views. There's 332k views now, and it's it's still climbing. We might even break a million on that video within the next few weeks. Again, before we continue the rest of this, I gotta go because the girl's arriving in like five minutes. The free giveaway. Okay, all I have to do is go enter your name and your email. It'll put you into the drawing. I'm gonna do a live on June 27th where I pick them at random. We'll show the process of it selecting right on the screen. So you can't say, oh, this competition was rigged. One person will get a free eight week mentorship. One will get a free three day live bootcamp. And then a bunch of others will get discounts on products and services. And if you're just ready to coach with me now, you can go book a free 30 minute call and talk to some of my team about the options and the pricing. Let's hear more of what this guy has to say. I'm, I'm dying to know in my, in my final minutes here. But let's say you do, for some reason, she plays long and spins you around. If you then pull her in that close, 
this as close as he has, and you put your hand on her waist, guess what? You are in. There is, and she puts her hand on your arm like, like this woman's done. Congratulations, you are probably going to get a phone number and a date out of this. What are the odds you get this far? This is happening in a nightclub. When's the last time you were in a nightclub? 40 years ago? 50 years ago? Okay, without cell phones? Like, again, what is this guy's credentials? Like, what am I defending here? Like, there's so many fucking dummies on the internet, okay, especially in the dating space, that think they know everything. What separates me is I have mountains of proof of my own results and mountains of proof for my clients. Huge fucking difference. What proof does this guy have for his own expertise or results in the dating game? None, I'm guessing, just like the rest of them. What expertise does he have in telling anyone about what they should be doing or anything? None. Oh, well, I'm gonna assign probabilities about shit that I know nothing about based on how it seems from an outside perspective using what I think is common sense intuition. Uh, dating doesn't work like that. If it did, everyone would be very good at it. There's a lot of shit that's counterintuitive. There's a lot of shit that you don't know unless you've gone through the blood, sweat, and tears of approaching tens of thousands of women and come up with the best strategies. He's telling me my best opener that I've discovered after tens of thousands of approaches, literally. I have over 21,000 phone numbers on my phone. We can show that up on the screen. He's telling the crowd that 99.9999999% chance of the time. They will go running and they will be disinterested because you said you wanted to meet them really quick and held out their, held your hand to shake their hand. This guy is totally fucking out of his mind. I think if, if you think this is going to go this well for you when you try to talk to very attractive women, go buy a lottery ticket. Oh, okay. Now <laughs> I have clients doing this on boot camps every single week out of the clubs. This is what women respond to. Oh, top end world-class dating advice. Uh, the chances of that working are uh, like winning the lottery, says a guy that has no fucking clue what he's talking about. This is why the internet is dumb. He can go and say, oh, this is all trash. It's like when the little Gunner TV dork was like, uh, this is creepy. This is creepy. He was trying to mock an infield pull from start to finish during the daytime without edits, literally walking up to a girl in Union Square in New York City, talking to her, moving her to a TGI Fridays, having one drink, and then pulling her to a taxi and back to the apartment. And the footage ends going into the apartment. And then I railed the shit out of that girl. Gunner TV, who's just some little nerd, okay, who looks like he's in his low 20s that doesn't like pickup. He's like, oh bro, this is creepy. This is creepy. And everyone's like, yeah, this is creepy. The litmus test is the girl came back to my apartment with me. If it was so creepy, she would have left or she would have told me to fuck off or she would have not went home with me. Ta-da, right? So them calling it creepy means nothing. We could go look at game-winning shots by fucking Kobe Bryant and LeBron James and Michael Jordan. Oh, that's so cringe, that's so creepy. Vacuous statement. We could go look at fucking knockouts in the UFC. Oh, look how creepy that guy's fighting it. It's like, shut up. If the girl comes home with me from start to finish on unedited footage during the daytime, that's a huge accomplishment. Why don't these guys go and try and do that? Why don't you go try to take home a hot girl during the daytime cold from a cold approach? You won't be able to do it because your game blows. But they'll come and tell me that me doing it is creepy. They'll come and tell me that my best opener that guys are using and, and techniques that guys are using every single week extremely successfully, endless mountains of data on that, proving that it works. They're going to say, oh, that's like winning the lottery, being able to pull that off based on what? Based on what some fucking retard behind a webcam says? Well, that's why I fact check people and I, that's why I fucking show endless amounts of proof. I have more proof of my own results and the results of my clients than the whole rest of the industry combined. Okay, think about that. Think about that, Lebowski. Now, let's talk, this girl's like literally about to arrive here. Because your odds of winning the Powerball at one in 737 million is higher than the 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 smoking hot 10 reacting this way to you especially if you've got a dad bod and thinning hair on the this guy is <laughs> again this just gets better and better i love it this guy is going to tell me that i have a dad bod let's pull up a little picture here first of all while i'm pulling up this picture look at this guy's fucking shitty physique okay this guy has bitch tits and fucking cellulite okay and looks like fucking disgusting girls would never fuck this guy in a million years now let's look at a recent physique picture of mine let's look at this does this look like a dad bod i have visible abs i'm in grape shape I'm very fucking muscular here. He's calling this a dad bod. Wait a second, I'm seeing a pattern here. The stupid retard, 
that says that you have one in 37 million odds of doing world-class pickup and having it be successful, okay, is also calling a guy with a muscular physique and visible abs a dad bot. Why doesn't he go look in the mirror? This guy, I'm sure, is fucking jerking himself off every night before bed after he's done making his sensational YouTube content. And this guy has like legit certifiable bitch tits and he's gonna go mock my physique. We'll pop up the image again. That is not a dad bod. All these red pill guys try to call me the fat kid in Brazil. Oh, he's fat, he has a dad bod. Nope, visible abs, motherfucker. And, and meanwhile, he has bitch tits and he's gonna go fucking talk shit. What cold approach has this guy done? This stuff, it's like so dumb to even react to this. Where's this guy's credentials? Where's this guy, his infield? None, 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 none. And he's just throwing stones in a glass house. Oh, he has a dad bod, says the guy with bitch tits. Stop and you're this guy. That's all I'm saying on that. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, my name's Liz. <laughs> so it's okay to be physical and- How much money did he pay her? That's called my wife. We've been in a relationship for four years. If you go look around on my channel that you're not sure if it exists or not, the channel, oh, he might have a YouTube channel, who knows? She's been on my channel for four years. Now he's saying, oh, this must be a paid model or a paid escort. No, we have a legal marriage certificate, you stupid fuck. Who looks even stupider now? Look, and it says exactly what he is in the bottom left corner. A joker. That's this guy. He's gonna call a guy with a great physique a dad bot while he has fucking bitch tits and cellulite all over the place and looks like fucking, this guy looks like a one. <laughs> He's gonna mock infield techniques of a guy that has endless pulls from start to finish on camera and say they have one in 37 million chance. <laughs> then, He's going to go accuse who's my wife, who I live with, who I've lived with for three years, okay, who I have a marriage to be with. We're in a one-way open marriage. Okay, I have a 17-girl side rotation. He knows nothing about me, so now he's just trying to use more of his dumb logic. Uh, she's a pretty girl, and uh, how can I rationalize this? Uh, how much did he pay her? Uh, uh. How much money did he pay her to take part in this? Or, or, or uh, what's this dude's real name before he got before he got surgery. That's all I want to know. Because apparently this guy, supposedly, I, and this is alleged. Oh, now Liz is either a paid model or escort or a transvestite. That's the next allegation. Supposedly was, was smashing a dude that had had surgery, so he looked like a chick. That's all I'm saying. Yep, so that means Liz must be a transvestite as well. Statement of being attracted to her as long as it doesn't come across creepy. Okay, and if she's offended, you can say, oh, sorry, I just thought you were sexy. To grab my best converting Tinder opener for free, check out the link in the bio. So basically all this is, is, is how much does he charge? PlatinumDatingSystem.com. Let's see. So there's no pricing on here. We'll send you a text message on yourself 15 minutes before the call. That He's going to give you a phone call. Great. How much is it? Oh, look, 1,250 testimonials. Why don't you click that? Testimonials. Really? No, oh, known as the number one dating coach in the world. Wow, that's great. How much? Yeah, that's actually a real reputation that most of the community holds. Is your course. Oh, look at all this proof and testimonials. What other shit can I talk with my fucking stupid bitch tits and dumb bald head? Guys, you know as well as I do, you know as well as I do, that if, <clears throat> if there's no pricing on the main page, it's probably a scam. Oh, it's probably a scam now because we don't have the pricing. So let's, let's recap the claims here. Okay, my best converting cold approach opener, which I've been using for over a decade, which all my clients use. Hi, can I meet you real quick? What's your name? Which I have endless examples of it working extremely successfully, both anecdotally in my personal life and for my clients, but also on tons of hard infield, showcasing real footage of it working over and over. And I'll have my editor make that fucking opener compilation so we can show the fat fucking idiot with bitch tits that look, it does work and your one in 37 million odds was a bit off by a shit ton. Then we will also show him, I'm going to email him has some of these things. Then we will, <laughs> we will show him that Liz is my wife. Okay. And not a paid model or a tranny as he's making as a conjecture. And then he's going to go say my system must be a scam because I have 1,250 testimony. Oh, let's ignore that part. Uh, uh, there's no pricing on the, on the book of call page. Uh, so therefore it must be a scam. Great arguments. Okay, this guy is obviously extremely intelligent and probably didn't even graduate high school, but he's got a webcam and you know what that means. He's a dating expert and he knows way better than me. So I should probably just hang up the hat and retire. Okay, but not before I go fucking 
break 2k and make history in the community. This chick is arriving, so I need to go again. <sighs> how fucking sad is that? Do you see how fucking retarded the industry is? He's going to go mock a great opener. He's going to go mock a great technique no, with no credentials or no experience, just based on a third party armchair philosophical opinion of what he thinks should work. Okay. And he's going to assign hyperbolic, you know, ridiculous probabilities. Oh, this would never work in a trillion years. Okay, buddy. And then he's going to go call my physique a dad bod. Let's pop up the, the fucking thing again. Here's an open challenge to better bachelor. Come box this guy with a dad bod. Okay, there you go. Official challenge. Okay, you can bring the bitch tits. I'll knock them around a little bit with my fists. We'll all have a good laugh. <laughs> I'll bring the dad bot. Okay, it should be an easy defeat. Okay, I'm, I'm sure you're fucking in great shape there as you sit behind your webcam spouting off nonsense all day. Oh, okay, uh, there's a pretty girl. Must be a paid model. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, this must be a scam. Uh, 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 good game? No, must. Uh, that, better luck winning the lottery, bro. And people that are better Bachelor fans are like, you tell them, better Bachelor. Enough of the internet for today. Get on the free giveaway. Okay, the link is in the description or pinned comment. You can go enter your name and your email. Uh, sorry, I get fired up like responding to total fucking jackass nonsense. Okay? I put in the blood, sweat, and tears. I have more proof in the rest of the industry. You don't even need to take my word for it that I'm very good at the game or that my clients get very good. That's the reason why we have just fucking mountains of proof on a page. That's the reason why I have a thousand hours of infield and several hundred hot girl receipts and post a new receipt every day with a hot girl in the Discord. Okay, I have nothing to hide. It's all out on full display. So people can keep fucking running their stupid mouths and they can keep talking shit. And it doesn't mean anything, especially from this guy. Look at this guy. What the fuck? Oh, but he knows that, it, that it's a better chance to win the lottery. And, and, and you see what they do? Oh, look, he has a dad bod. He's a scammer. Oh, look, he's hiring models based on nothing. Just based on him trying to talk shit because he's a little punk ass bitch behind a camera. Come fight me in a ring, better bachelor. Okay, I'll even fight you with one hand tied behind my back. How's that? All right. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. I said fuck the industry and did it my way. My way. I learned how to roll a weed. I didn't roller skate. Nah. Go in the backyard, look at the lake, and I meditate. All I need is one scale, a couple bells. Came in this shit by myself. Dolph, why you fuck this girl? Oh uh, shit, cause I'm a player. Quarterback, no NFL. Hey.